But now, men younger than I make fun of me. Men whose fathers were too worthless to put with my sheepdogs. Their fathers are still too weak to be of any use to me. All their strength is gone. They are starving with nothing to eat, so they chew on the dry, ruined land. They pull up salt plants in the desert and eat the roots from the broom tree. They are forced away from other people who shout at them as if they were thieves. They must live in the dry riverbeds, hillside caves, and holes in the ground. They howl in the bushes and huddle together under thorn bushes. They are a bunch of worthless people without names who were forced to leave their country. Now their sons sing songs to make fun of me. My name has become a bad word to them. They hate me and stay far away from me, except when they come to spit in my face. God has taken the string from my bow and made me weak, so they feel free to do whatever they want to me. They attack me on my right side. They knock my feet out from under me. They build ramps to attack and destroy me like a city. They guard the road so that I cannot escape. They succeed in destroying me without help from anyone. They break a hole in the wall and come rushing through it, and the crashing rocks fall on me. I am shaking with fear. They chased my honor away like dust in the wind. My safety disappears like a cloud. Now my life is almost gone, and soon I will die. Days of suffering have grabbed me. All my bones ache at night. Pain never stops chewing on me. God grabbed the collar of my coat and twisted my clothes out of shape. He threw me into the mud, and I became like dust and ashes. God, I cry out to you for help, but you don't answer. I stand up and pray, but you don't pay attention to me. You have become cruel to me. You use your power to hurt me. You let the strong wind blow me away. You throw me around in the storm. I know you will lead me to my death, to that place where all the living must go. Surely no one would attack a man who is already ruined when he is hurt and crying for help. God, you know that I cried for those who were in trouble. You know that I mourned for the poor. But when I hoped for good, trouble came instead. When I looked for light, darkness came. I constantly feel upset, and my suffering has only just begun. I am always sad and depressed without any relief. I stand up in the public meeting and cry for help, making sad sounds like the wild dogs, like the ostriches in the desert. My skin is burned and peeling away. My body is hot with fever. My harp is tuned to play songs of sorrow. My flute makes sad songs like someone crying. I made an agreement with my eyes not to look at a young woman in a way that would make me want her. What does God above have for us? How does God all-powerful repay people from his home high in heaven? He sends trouble to the wicked and disaster to those who do wrong. God is the one who knows what I do and sees every step I take. I have not lied to anyone. I never tried to cheat people. If God would use accurate scales, he would know that I am innocent. If I ever stepped off the right path, if my eyes led my heart to do evil, or if my hands are dirty with sin, then let others eat what I planted. Let my crops be pulled up by the roots. If I have desired another woman or waited at my neighbor's door to sin with his wife, then let my wife serve someone else and let other men sleep with her. To do such a thing would be shameful, a sin that must be punished. Such sin is like a fire that burns until it destroys everything. It would completely ruin my life's work. If I refuse to be fair to my slaves when they had a complaint against me, then what will I do when I must face God? What will I say when he asks me to explain what I did? The one who made me in my mother's womb also made them. God shaped us all inside our mothers. I have never refused to help the poor. I always gave widows what they needed. I have never been selfish with my food. 
I shared what I had with orphans. All my life, I have been like a father to orphans and have taken care of widows. Whenever I found people suffering because they didn't have clothes or saw a poor man with no coat, I always gave them something to wear. I used the wool from my own sheep to make them warm, and they thanked me with all their heart. I never threatened an orphan, even when I knew I had support in court. If I ever did that, may my arm be pulled from its socket and fall from my shoulder. But I didn't do any of these bad things. I fear God's punishment too much. His majesty scares me. I have never trusted in riches. I never said, even to pure gold, you are my hope. I have been wealthy, but that didn't make me proud. I earned a lot of money, but that is not what made me happy. I have never worshipped the bright sun or the beautiful moon. I was never foolish enough to worship the sun and the moon. This is also a sin that must be punished. If I had worshipped them, I would have been unfaithful to God All-Powerful. I have never been happy when my enemies were destroyed. I have never laughed at my enemies when bad things happened to them. I have never let my mouth sin by cursing my enemies and wishing for them to die. The people in my house know that I have never let anyone go hungry. I always invited strangers into my home so that they would not have to sleep in the streets. I have not tried to hide my sins as some people do. I have never hidden my guilt. I was never so afraid of what people might say or of making enemies that I kept my sins secret and avoided going out. How I wish someone would listen to me. I will sign my name to all I have said. Now let God All-Powerful answer me. Let Him make a list of what He thinks I did wrong. I would wear it around my neck. I would put it on my head like a crown. Then I could explain everything I have done. I could come to God with my head held high like a prince. I did not use my land in a wrong way. I never caused it to suffer. I always paid the workers for the food I got from the land. I never let any of them starve. If I ever did any of these bad things, let thorns and weeds grow in my fields instead of wheat and barley. Job's words are finished.